Okay, both of our judges are here now. They're nothing but nice people. Anne is the horrible bitch here, so it's fine, it's fine. Right, our first person doing the reading is the fabulous Loki Love Handle. I guess we're just doing this. It's not Loki first. Did I fuck up? Oh, no, no, you can stay there. You can stay there. You can stay there. You can stay there. Sorry, I did not. Listen, I'm the fucking new bitch, all right? I'm the oldest one and the worst one. It's fine. It's fine. Loki, go. At least you said that so I didn't have to. Okay, let's start with Skinny Mini. Actually, I'm not going to read you at all, Skinny. The classical drag scene does that enough already. Next up, we have Asparagus. Asparagus is a, a self admitted, self obsessed. Posh Totty, an ex horse girl. And the only person more obsessed with asparagus than asparagus is Giza Gobble. <laughs> Speaking of Giza Gobble, Giza, I really hope that some of these girls don't make some distasteful jokes about you being a plus size diva, hit below the belt. Then again, you'll be used to being below the belt. You do like to live there on your knees. Your name is so ironic for someone who's never even seen another person's genitals. <laughs> and finally, steal your man. Do you know what? I'd love to see you steal a win. Right. Close her out tonight, divas. Make some noise for our next reader. It's a fabulous skinny mini. Bear with me here, everybody. Speaking on the mic is not my strong point, and it clearly isn't Loki's either. Yeah. Thank you, Loki. Everybody make some noise for my before photo. Yeah. Let's start with our judges, which Salvatore has conspicuously not been one of. Yeah. Rujato and CJ aren't here, so I'm going to direct this to the camera. CJ Banks is one of the most powerful performers in Scottish drag, and I've told her many times I think she can win Drag Race one day because she embodies C-U-N-T. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and texture. <laughs> Truly though, I think everyone should go easier on CJ about her makeup. It can be hard if you don't have the right setup, and after all, the lighting must be terrible in Rujazzle's shadow. It's been really hard to come up with a read for you because I really like you. It's just a shame your audiences don't. I don't know if you're aware, but there's a lot of smoking area controversy after the show about how some of the challenges have been judged. But honestly, it wouldn't be the first time someone called Rue gave a Scottish drag queen an undeserved win. Now would it? Chucky Dartolo sucks queen of cosplay, and that makes perfect sense because if I was her, I'd pretend to be someone else too. But seriously, can we appreciate that Chucky makes everything that she wears? She is such a talented seamstress, she can even forgo patterns. If only she could tell her male baldness to do the same. <laughs> Amphetamine. Now you may all not know this, but Anne was originally booked to judge week two instead of this week. Yeah, Rujaza wanted to wait until after she started her hormones so she could pay her 20% less. <laughs> You are the winner of Glasgow's Best Political Drag Act 2020, and it truly was so deserved. It was about time you got recognition for your face being the first brick thrown at Stonewall. Blaze! Blaze, nobody can ever come for the true Queen Bee, Alana Carson. Yeah. Now for my fellow contestants, Savannah Zavon Excess. Well, I didn't think anyone would remember who that was, and I was right. Charlie B. Divine. The B does not stand for blending. <laughs> Crystal K. Maybe if you ate your makeup, your singing voice would be pretty too. <laughs> Scout. I don't believe in shaming people for their chosen sex position, but damn, do you love to be in the bottom. <laughs> Latex. Nobody can deny that you wear this competition's waist of a slot. <laughs> and now, asparagus. I love what you've done with your hair tonight. How did you get it to come out of your nose like that? <laughs> Asparagus, you will take any opportunity to wear flat shoes when you're in drag. Boylette, flats. Comedy mix, flats. Your stage presence, flat. <laughs> Loki recently came out as non-binary. Can we make some noise for that? <laughs> it's incredibly important to me that we get Loki's pronouns right. So out of drag, it's always they, them. And in drag, it's always she, in. <laughs> oh, Loki, you remind me of Monopoly money. Two-faced and fake. You know what? You're more fake than whoever told you your beats were funny. You're more fake than whoever told Crystal K she can sing. 
you're more fake than Lawrence and Ellie's televised friendship. I do want to thank the Sup Queens for championing such body diversity throughout the competition. Like, there's low key love handles, and here's high key love handles. <laughs> Visa Gobble is something no one's ever said to her. <laughs> no, Visa actually recently lost 15 pounds, everybody. She spent it on her entire runway collection for the competition. <laughs> Silly a man! I legitimately did not write any reads for you because I did not think you'd be here. <laughs> But can he steal a match? <laughs> Celia Mann got the night off last week because of ill health, which I think makes her the first pageant contestant in Scottish drag history to have the placement Diana Vickers. <laughs> the difference is the X Factor producers did that because Diana could have actually won. <laughs> Slut drop Sally, ironic name for a virgin, because really, a blowjob from Sally. You may as well use a cheese grater as a flashlight. <laughs> Sally, it's so incredible to me that at 18 years old you can stand here alongside the rest of us in makeup and wigs, performing the way that you do and being so openly, unapologetically feminine. Please never be ashamed of that. That's your parents' job. <laughs> and now I'd like to leave you all with one question to sit with. What is it with Dundee Queens and just tapping out halfway through? Bark up buffet with this competition, Miss Peaches with hosting bingo wigs, and Raspberry with bothering to feed her cat. <laughs> My name is Skinny Minnie, and if you did not, I am transgender wearing deodorant. Oh. Now, if anyone ever thought I was mean, I would like to direct you towards Skinny Fucking Minnie. Jesus, this is your reminder not to repeat any of those to anyone you ever loved. It is, it is. You can watch it live when Ruja still decides she wants the word for suck any longer. Anyway, your next reader is Asparagus! I'm gonna start off by reading myself, as any self-respecting person should do. Now, I would like to say, state the obvious, there's a little bit of a double standard in the drag community when it comes to reading and roasting. I feel like most people are uncomfortable to read or roast a drag king. They're too scared of being deemed disrespectful or not woke. But as someone with a degradation kink, bring all the roasts you can, baby! I'm gonna love it! <laughs> the judges are asking me to roast you. I don't know, what the fuck did you just do? The judges are asking me to roast you! But I think everyone here knows you would much rather I spit roasted you. <laughs> Sip an apple in your mouth and I'll pork you from behind. <laughs> now, next up we have an eliminated queen, Charlie B. Divine. Where is she? There she fucking is. As always, for those of you who don't know, Charlie B. Divine is a professionally trained dancer specializing in group choreography. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck was that training in week two of Six Musical when you got every fucking move wrong? <laughs> Darling love, Loki love handles. Named after the Norse god Loki, who's known for having huge horns. You may not be a god, but you've got the horny part right for sure. Now move. Skinny Mini, can you step forward, please? I like, I find it very fucking interesting that you read me for being a hairy cunt. When she is the hairiest bitch in the business, Skinny Mini is so hairy, but she's too skinny to be a bear, she's too short to be an altar. She's more like a chipmunk. <laughs> now get back in your cage, you fucking chipmunk. Now, just for those who haven't been here every week, I'm gonna do a little badge count, a little wing count. Giza Gobble, three. Skinny Mini, two. Loki, Loki, myself and I all have one win, and still your man, oh honey. I don't need to read you, because your track record in this competition reads itself. 
Next up, we have yet another eliminated queen. Crystal K, is she here? The lights are blinding, she is here. Crystal K, my darling, can you tell me? Crystal K does stand for Crystal Ketamine, right? Wonderful. I mean, it doesn't really matter though, does it? Because whether it's Ketamine, Mandy, or Coke, your singing performance showed us whether it was right underneath your nose, you still couldn't find the key. <laughs> And last but not least, Slut Drop Sally. I think we can all say it's maybe slightly inappropriate that the youngest performer has the most sexual name, but at least her name isn't Cindy Lou Diamond.
I'm glad to see another big bitch in the competition, I really am. The only thing bigger than your shadow is your five o'clock shadow. Christ, that was, that was a light one. Wait till you know what you Your capability to change your makeup is so creatively insane. I've never seen so many variations of shit. <laughs> but the only person to ever fuck Stelia was God. <laughs> Somebody went, oh my God. Slut drop, Sally. <laughs> so, you are one of the nicest queens I have ever met, due to the kindness in your heart and the softness in your brain. Because when I met you for the first time in this competition, I thought, oh my God, another theatre queen, yes! But you're so much more than a theatre queen. You're also a cunt. <laughs> Who gasped at the word cunt? You're in Scotland? You can't get in attendance, Jesus. But I think slut is such a harsh word to use. You know, I wouldn't use it as a name. I would maybe use something like Penny Drop Sally because it never fucking does. <laughs> or I would just call you Penny because you're worthless, two-faced and in everybody's pants. to read that hopefully might come true for you. And latex, late, they're not here, but to me, now we've all got our own preferences, but to me, latex was the trade of Suck You 2021. As in, I would trade them in for a person with a personality. When you were doing the performance night, it inspired me to go get a vodka. <laughs> but you were incredible in the cabaret and variety week. Who was here for that? Did we all see it? Yeah! yeah. You were incredible. With the, you were singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And I thought, oh, they will never top that performance. And I was right. Yes. Oh, my notes have went back up to the top. There we go. Asparagus. In the nicest way humanly possible, I would like you to sit on my face and glaze me like a donut. <laughs> Not a read, I just want to say that. Just on the record, the spit roast thing, I've got contacts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen one way or another. But your talent reminds me. You oh, you bent, you bent down. She's very keen, very keen. Your talent reminds me of the greatest showman. I haven't seen it. And uh, another queen that left the competition, Skush and Snooky. Scout. Where are they? Right in the corner where you belong with the Blair Witch Project. Right where you belong. Previously Salmonella, something we wish you all had. But I'm surprised when we did the Around the World Runway that you didn't do a beach because you love to coast, don't you? <laughs> love to coast. It's probably got all the dog in videos. Yeah. We've all seen them. Pornhub took quite an attack on that. It, was, it lost a lot of room, yeah. A lot of people. But I think it was an absolute travesty that you were lip syncing in week two. You should never have made it that far. <laughs> Skinny Minnie, skinny. Yes, hello. Yes, Can we all just appreciate Skinny Minnie's gorgeous smile? It reminds me of the sun. Yellow. Uh, but I do find it hard to read Skinny. She is 
very, very talented when she's performing, talented on the runways, incredibly talented. And she is a genuine friend to me as well, so I do find it difficult to read you. But then again, you do come from Paisley, so you know exactly what it's like to difficult to read. to read you for. One of the things you didn't put on there was her makeup. Why? 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 It was a read itself. I mean, you come from you come from my potato shoes. I'll come for your makeup. <laughs> but you were first sold, according to Wikipedia, you were first sold in 1937. And you consist of a spheroid malted milk center surrounded by milk. You're not a Maltese, are you? It's not Maltese, are you? It's a Maltese! I'm so sorry, you're a Maltese! That's it, I'm so sorry. It's, a con it's easy to mistake. But, but, your makeup does resemble a chocolate bar. Crunchy. <laughs> and that's me, I'm done, I'm gonna rid of me now. Next time I want to be my daughter! I do want to clarify. I made a very obvious joke in the chat where I said, please don't read before my weight, my clothes, my country, my accent. It was a joke, you could have come, okay, thank God, because I was like, you'd have nothing left once to go in the fat jokes, because everything else is perfect, fuck off. Anyway, our final reader tonight is Celia Ma! Who would want to talk that? I am so glad that you're in the competition, so that I don't have to be the big girl. But you make me look like latex. Asparagus, hi! In this competition, we've worked together in two challenges so far. And I must say that I have really, really enjoyed all the other challenges. yourself is a very versatile performer. So tell me, why only three dance moves? Oh, oh. Love you love handles. I find it really hard to find a read for you. And which is so annoying, because if I was just one week later, I wouldn't have had to. Imagine like this. <laughs> and that's all I've got. Oh, wait, Anne. Look! Why me? That's right! I didn't really write any reads for the judges, but I saw it yet and I'm just. <laughs> Anne is so incredible at performing. Even when she's drunk, you can almost, almost, almost think it's good. Make some noise, Marcy! 
that is all your redesigns. Deepers, you're gonna all head upstairs and get ready for the runway. But it's not a break yet. No, nobody, nobody moves. Because we have a fast.